try and get people to think. We have to weigh out. Okay, maybe the rubber gloves are not perfect. We should be using certain products. There's no question and, and not using other products. But I mean, the point is, is that we really have to think out what we're doing and why we're doing and don't believe the marketing on the bottles. I mean, I look at some of these uh, fabric softeners and they try and tell you free and they're telling you it's free. Their marketing, you know, is, is that, you know, it's free of dyes. It doesn't mean it's free of toxins. Give me a break. Well, they've got like thousands of chemicals in them. Yeah. Like it's so ridiculous. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. So, and that yeah. goes straight on your skin, like Absolutely. straight to you. I'm breathing it in all night because it's on your sheets. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Didn't think of that, but okay. <laughs> uh, there's a happy thought for the day. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so how can we, how can we be, do better? Well, I think what we really have to do is we also look, I just want to take a very quick look at skin cancer. Okay. Because really skin cancer is a very good way to exemplify what happens with oxidative stress to the skin. Okay. You know, I just, I just finished up melanoma like yes. two months ago. Yes. So, and I'm trying to be very sensitive to that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, I just can add to it. Like I, I when and I, I want to, in a minute, I'm going to tell what happened to the doctor, but yeah. you talk first, <laughs> then I'll tell you. So again, we know there's various kinds of skin cancers. There's the non-melanomas with the squamous and the basal cell, and we have the melanomas, okay? And the truth is it's been proven. Again, people can doubt it, but it has been proven once again that oxidative stress and inflammation are completely linked with these cancers, with all of them, with the basal, the squamous, and the melanoma, okay? And that's what happens. Now, I, I just want to say a comment here because time flies so quickly about half of these quote anti-aging products that people are using or taking, um, you know, eating these foods that are supposedly rich in antioxidants and, and really everything in life comes down to absorption. Okay. And just because people are taking some of those you know, they're popping these supplements, which some of them are positively toxic, such as I mentioned last time, selenium, if you take too much of it. Okay. But the USDA made a statement. Okay. And it said, antioxidant values are routinely misused by food and dietary supplement manufacturing companies to promote their products and by consumers to guide their food and dietary supplement choices. Okay. In other words, what we've said many times is ingesting your antioxidants or smearing them all over your skin does not mean they are working. It's something called bioavailability. And many of them have poor bioavailability, which is why when we're talking about going back to our Nerf 2 products, okay, they cause your body to produce your own antioxidant system, which is very different than taking external antioxidants and putting them in your body and trusting them and being fooled that that is actually lowering our oxidative stress and the importance of taking products that activate the Nerf 2 pathway and actually get our body to produce its antioxidant defense system, which is why we're proven in, oh my God, lost count of how many studies to actually lower oxidative stress by 40%. So that's a very important thing. But if we also look, like a lot of these skincare products will tell you that they have this anti-aging product and they have hyaluronic acid and they have this and they have this what they don't tell you, okay, which doesn't make it to the commercials, but it makes it in the fine print, formaldehyde, phenacetin, coal, tar, benzene, mineral oils, ethylene oxide, heavy metals, cadmium, arsenic, chromium, silica. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
So when it has all of these other products, like, you know, there was this study that was done, okay, about a whole bunch of name brand products. I don't know if I'm allowed to say them or if I should say them. So I'm not going to. (laughs) And the truth is, okay, what they're doing to make your skin look so shiny is PFOAs. What are PFOAs? I don't know if I want to know. Teflon. (laughs) Oh my God. So if your face looks as shiny as the bottom of your Teflon pan. (laughs) Oh my goodness gracious. That is awful news. That is just (laughs) terrible news. And these are name brands that I promise you most have used. The truth is if you go to, there's a great site to look at. It's called, um, it's sponsored by the breast cancer, um, society and it's uh american cancer society talks about it okay it's the campaign for safe cosmetics oh Oh, yeah and you know it's up in the signs are up in walgreens too oh good i never knew that that's good to know but when you look at this okay some of these anti-aging okay that are full of antioxidants are full has only one example of many of these pfoas which have been proven not just to be carcinogens, as if that's not enough, but endocrine disruptors, which eventually can oh, lead yeah. to cancer, changing mm-hmm. the way your hormones, reproductive harm. Yeah. Okay. And this is the problem. So yeah, they might have one drop of hyaluronic acid, or they might have a tiny bit of vitamin C, but what else is in it? We don't know the integrity of it. We don't know how much of the good products. And it's also got all of those other products in it as well. So, yeah, that is a serious problem. Yeah, no, I agree. When I had my melanoma, um, and we're almost um, out of time, when I had my melanoma, uh, it was on my ear, and he took a skin patch, took a chunk out, replaced it with my skin patch, and I started using um, a number two lotion from the products. And he said he'd never seen it heal so fast that yeah. he was, he was, and I will, I, I, I do use the skin line and I will say that it is fantastic. My skin looks yeah. absolutely great. I mean, you're it, backed it, up by Louisiana state university and all of these studies that say it can actually reverse cancers, including melanoma and anyone who wants those studies, of course we can make them available. But again, the difference is you're not, smearing on something you're getting your body to do its own healing big difference well and i've seen some of my spots get lighter my my yeah. sun damage i mean i lived in i grew up in el paso i grew up in the sunshine um city sun city and then i lived in the sunshine state and then i lived in texas so i was a swimmer and a golfer so you know i've been exposed bad oh, yeah. and I'm da- my chest is so damaged. My doctor looked at me and he said, "Yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of each other at some point in time." Um, but right. I've been putting that on my my chest. And last so time, he, that was my next question. Like, oh yeah, he was like, "You're doing so much better." So, and I I'm a girl who's put lotion on her face since I was in the fourth grade. So this the skincare product is not new to me. It's something I have always done, and I've always seeked out like the Oh gosh, I would spend my entire paycheck when I was like a waitress at the steakhouse on skincare products, you know, just, just what was was the best at the time that I knew of with my limited education. But I will even say that this is not even expensive. I mean, not even close to expensive. No, no. And again, it has definitely has the aesthetic part that everybody's looking for. But again, underneath it all, again, what everybody has to remember is they don't have to think about bioavailability. They don't have to think about the other components of it. It's something, it's getting your body to do the work. As I say, big difference. Oh, yeah. And and it absolutely... um... Oh gosh, it's it uh, it feels great, and my hands do look look better. That is one thing that I've never taken care of on my hands. I don't know why. It just like I, I it always felt so heavy on my skin. It bothered me, but now um, I absolutely am taking care of my hands because yeah. I don't want to have any giant chunks taken on my body anymore. I'm good not having. Uh, and again, <laughs> everyone has to remember that oxidative stress on your skin and the condition of your skin. We're not just talking the skin on our face. We're talking the skin all over our body. Absolutely. 
Yep. Yep. And it's no question. definitely work it. So, all right, well, we're out of time, but um, is there anything, one last like 10 second thing you want to add? No, nope. I think people have to, I definitely recommend people go to that site. And um, I, um, I think that's a really great step. I mean, I'll happily give them more information if anyone wants to reach out to me about oxidative stress and skin health, gut health, whatever. Everyone is more than welcome to reach out to me. And her email is Shira at bestincorporatehealth.com. You got and, uh, your, your website is the same as well, Best in Corporate Care Health. Oh my gosh, bestincorporatehealth.com. You got and, it. And this is Shira, and we've got one more show coming up um, next month. So we'll have four of four series, so you can hear some more about this um, incredible um, supplement that we have. Uh, become very attached to. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us today on the Mama Bear Cancer Support Radio Podcast on Society Bites Radio, Social Interaction for the Mind, Body, Soul. For more information about Mama Bear or to hear all of the podcasts, please find them on my website at www.mamabearcancercoach.com. I'm your host, Mama Bear Donica. Until next time, thank you for joining Mama Bear Donita. <laughs>